by annexing 2,052.37 acres of land known as Madeira, generally located between Chandler Heights Road and Patterson Road, and between Waterman Wash and 175th Avenue in Maricopa County, and providing city zoning designations of the agricultural, urban, and agricultural. Thank you. Would anyone in the public wish to remove an item from the consent agenda? Would anyone on council wish to remove an item from the consent agenda? Can I have a motion and a second, please? So moved. Second. You missed it. I was trying to block you out so you couldn't see it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. A motion from uh, Vice Mayor Antonio. A motion from Cavalier. Me. Okay, and the uh, second was from Vice Mayor Antonio. Roll call vote, please. Vice Mayor Antonio. Aye. Councilmember Sousa. Aye. Councilmember Cavalier. Aye. Councilmember Osborne. Aye. Councilmember Holland. Aye. Councilmember Lord. Aye. Mayor Cavanaugh. Aye. Seven zero passed. Okay, we do not have any items on our business agenda for this evening. We'll move to information. Would anyone on council wish to address the public on their current activities? Yeah, just last night's events. You know, Brian and I said this last night at the event um, when I was standing in for you uh, there, and uh, staff did a stand-up job of reacting. I mean, your public works staff, rec staff, the volunteers that went out there, um, you know, we had a fairly significant crowd even with the cancellation uh, and a reschedule of events. And uh, I'm sure some of your staff is going to be working you know, 12, 13, 14 days in a row because of that over the weekend. So hopefully you'll look to reward them in the capacity that you see fit in terms of making sure they get the time with their families over the holidays and in terms of their support, supporting the rest of the families of Goodyear kind of kick off the holidays this last night. So it did a great job. The park looked great. Everything looked fantastic. And got nothing but compliments from the public that was out there. So thank you. I agree. I was there, and it was just outstanding. I appreciate all the hard work. It's lots of fun. There's lots of laughter. Yeah, I concur. I was there yeah, too. That's right. Another Santa Claus there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, my stock. Member Cavalier. Yeah, just a report on the uh, last RPTA meeting to uh, assure everyone that everything is okay with Goodyear and RPTA. We uh, had a motion on the floor that uh, uh, Mayor Hawker from Mesa disagreed with, and he threatened to uh, do a weighted vote on every item on the agenda for the rest of the meeting. And uh, with that, we uh, voted, and of course, it. Uh, it went the way Mayor Hawker wanted it to go, and uh, the West Valley walked out of the meeting. Um, the West Valley cities and the county walked out of the meeting. Um, since then, I approached the uh, attorney and uh, for the RPTA and the executive director, and we have had this long discussion. And uh, I was assured that uh, that would not ever be used again. That kind of a threat would not ever be used again in meetings, and that. Um, and I received another call today from the executive director saying uh, uh, he appreciated I was the only one that called in and made certain that it wasn't the executive director involved because he'd done a, he has been doing and has done a very good job <clears throat> with the uh, development of the light rail and our bus service. So um, we are all okay and everything is very good with City of Goodyear and our PTA. So. There's that weighted vote again. That's that you know, weighted vote again. It keeps come coming up. Us again, and I still say that's a vote they ought to, they ought to investigate that weighted vote and look into changing that. Because well, we have there, is a, there is a good reason to have it, and it's not that. I'm bound with And I pointed out that it was not. Uh, it isn't something I think we need to take out, but it is something that needs to be looked at to uh, uh, investigate what. You know how it should be used, and that every there should be limitations. Every, every time it's used, used it's across the West Valley. That's, right. that's right, because it's been used. Mesa and Phoenix. That's all we need is Mesa and Phoenix to vote one way, and it takes care of anyone, any opposition from the entire you Maricopa County. Remember when I County. said it took the biggest stick? Back again. What, what item was it, if you don't mind me asking? The weighted, the, the weighted vote was on if we could, when we could have a weighted vote. <laughs> If you can believe that. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sorry I asked. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. 
Any comments from the city manager? Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, I'll be very brief. Uh, just uh, uh, real quickly, Franklin Pierce uh, University, uh, we were getting some emails on that, but their men and women's soccer team, and they are part of our community certainly now um, as a university, they both reached Division II Final Four the very same season, second time in three years. To carry that a step further, uh, we were advised of tremendous excitement in New England that the women's soccer team um, uh, actually advanced to the finals. They did end up losing um, in the finals, but the men's soccer team, they went on to become the national champions. Um, so their, their first men's Great. soccer national championship for Franklin Pierce University. So we can uh, certainly be proud of that. Uh, second thing, Mr. Mayor, and that is is just uh, uh, we know that the bids came in for the I-10 widening. And uh, of the apparent low bidder, uh, police construction came in at $80,600,000. The engineer's estimate was a little over $85 million, so it did come in about $4.5 million under budget. Um, we're not sure when they plan on awarding that, but that is, that's good news. Yeah, that's, good news. Yeah, good. that's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Any inquiries of staff by council? Okay, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to ask, engineering-wise, if that's a trend. I mean, I think all of our industries, we're starting to see a trend in our estimates. And sure would be nice news to have, given the current state of financial affairs of everybody. Okay. 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 I have one question. I'm sorry, just of staff. Um, Brian, is it possible, you know, the, the in-focus, I love the in-focus. It's great. And um, but I would like to see if my fellow councilman would would uh, be interested in us getting to have a spot where we can share some kind of story that we want to weigh in on. The mayor White writes a wonderful page, and I would love to have a council corner. I don't. I mean, all the things that we're involved in, getting to let the public know the things we do. So. I don't know. Paula, I know, always has tons of information. So I just wanted to ask you and ask my fellow sure. council if they'd like to write something. Idea. You know, there's always going you on. Could do that for the we talk back. about it in the public. Yeah. So. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Good idea, really. Yeah. I guess we keep things out. Sounds good to me. Okay. One at a time. I wanted two to ask. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. Or, every, or if they're on a project you take turns. or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I was saying. Just like we do with the prayer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Mayor, just to address that, um, we absolutely can make room in the in focus, um, so that's not a problem at all. The other thing is, is we would need direction. We would look at a column a month, perhaps, and we could rotate it. Um, you know, two per council member and vice mayor, um, two each per year, for a total of twelve <coughs> times in that column, since it's a monthly report. So, if that's direction you want, we can we can orient it that way. Uh, Probably for the picture too. I would, I would look to so the public knows exactly who it is. The, 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 I think the thought's great. I would look to communi the communications professionals maybe to set some style guidelines and right. uh, oh, of course. you know oh, nomenclature and no pressure. What, they would what do. We write about what we don't write about, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, We'll go through Paula. And <laughs> oh, I know. I just saw. Don't know what I'm getting. Don't okay. Take care of you. So really make sure everything goes okay. Thank you. That's a great idea. Uh, thank you for the staff, to the staff of the Matrix. We'll talk more about it. But again, thanks to the council. It's just been a hard night. We've done some important things. So uh, we'll move on to the city manager issue quickly. And he's adjourned. Thank you.